welcome to my youtube channel today we're going to be talking about how to cut and sew female trouser pants i'm so excited about this topic that i'm taking today because i've always been having issues with my trouser pants i'm always particular about the way my trouser sits on me so i've tried a lot of patterns i've tried a lot of techniques methods but it's always having one issue or the other but what i'm showing you today trust me you're going to love it it's my favorite ever since i've gotten this method it's been so so wonderful trouser jumpsuit shorts play suit i've i've been you know slaying with my trouser so i'm so happy to show you this method today you want to subscribe right now so that anytime we drop a new video you get it at once and please if you like what we're doing here please share like subscribe in fact generously share share with your friends share with your colleagues and uh, that will also encourage us to do more so let's get straight into today's tutorial but before we go into today's tutorial in case you do not know how to take accurate body measurements you want to go and check our video right now on how to take accurate body measurements or you check the link below in the comment section i'm going to drop the link where you can watch how to take accurate body measurements let's get straight into today's tutorial all right we're here now and uh, we want to go straight into how to cut our female trouser pants and uh, these are the items that we're going to be using my tape rule i'm going to be using my tape measure and these rulers if you have them fine it's going to help but if you don't you can always use your hand freestyle so i'm going to be keeping these ones when we need them we'll pick them up and use them i brought this marker so that you see what i'm going to be drafting on the paper if you want to cut your own directly or you want to draft it directly on your fabric you can also go ahead and follow us so let's get straight into the pattern i've already cut out the measurement that i need so what did i use to get this my measurement i used my crotch measurement divided by two plus 1.2 then for my margin i left a margin here which is one inch so that would mean that my crotch divided by two plus 2.5 this will give you a rough estimate of what you're going to use if i'm using my fabric if i'm cutting directly if i'm doing it directly on my fabric i'm going to be using one yard for this one yard so i'll just fold it into two i'll fold my fabric into two then i will start drafting on my fabric directly so this is what i've done after folding my fabric in two then i will start with my margin i measured one inch from the edge measured it in and this is the margin that i have here let me write it there this is one inch one inch margin then up here on the waist one inch then also the m line one inch so i also mark out my waist from my top line i measured one inch this is the waistline then all other measurements started from the waist so now for my waist i measured my hip line these are the measurements that you need to take on your client i measured to my hip then for my waist i also measured my crotch depth Please, this is very important. This is actually what we help. If your pattern is going, if your trouser is going to sit well on you, this is just our major determinant factor. So you need to learn how to measure your crotch depth. Mine is 13 and a half because of the measurement that I'm using. This measurement that I'm using is waist 38, hip 44 crotch is 13 and a half then the trouser length is 44 our knee length we can actually get our knee measurements if you don't have it on your clients 
even the circumference you can also get it if you don't have it on your client so what i have here is my waist my hip my crotch trouser length and knee length the leg entry we can also generate that if you don't have the measurement so i'm going to be showing you all those ones now all right let's go i want to go over it again i've actually measured my waist just rule your waist here measure one inch down rule it from that waist measurement get your hip my hip is 8.5 from my waist i measure my crotch which is 13.5 from my waist i went straight down to get my trouser length then my sewing allowance that's all i'm going to be using ankara for this so what i will need for the front is one yard i've calculated my waist my hip like i mentioned crotch depth knee length this my knee length i measured from up my knee length is 26 so i measured it up but in case you don't have that knee length from your client take your tape put your tape on the crotch take it to the leg entry look for the middle this is the middle from the middle point you move up two inches you move up from your middle two inches then you mark it that's what we give you your knee length all right what i've done is to zoom the camera so that you can actually pick it so from my leg to my crotch is 30 so half of 30 is 15. so from that 15 just measure up two inches then you get your knee length from the 15 this is the 15 half of crotch and leg 15 then from that 15 you measure up two inches that will give you your knee length try it with your own measurements it has always been all right now i want to put my circumference waist measurements crotch knee and leg entry don't forget that we're creating the front this is the front this is the front we're creating the front pattern all right the waist is 38 so 38 divided by 4 will give me 9.5 plus 1 that's 10.5 so i will come to the margin here this is my margin i'm going to measure on the waistline one inch from the margin which i i just did once one inch from the margin then i will take the measurement that i calculated now 10.5 9.5 is waist divided by 4 plus 1. The 1 inch is my sewing allowance. Half inch here, half inch here. So I'm going to measure out 10.5. So here I have my 10.5. This is my 10.5. And that's my waist measurement plus sewing allowance. The next thing is to come to the crotch line. My crotch is 28. So I'm going to divide my crotch by 2 not for this time i divide waist by four but i'm dividing my crotch by two so 28 divided by two will give me 14 plus 1.5 1.5 is ease and sewing allowance 1.5 plus 14 will give me 15.5 then i'll come directly to the crotch line and i'll start my measurement from the margin from the waist i moved in on the waistline i moved in one inch but for the crotch, I'm not moving in. I'm starting directly from the margin. Then I will measure 15.5. So I have my 15.5 here. Starting directly from the margin, 15.5. The next thing is to come to my knee length. I'm going to move in one inch for my knee length. This, if you want your trouser to be a bit fitted, you can move in maybe like 1.5, maybe 2. But because I'm just creating a basic trouser, at the end of the day, I'm going to join my, uh, my bodice to my trouser to create a jumpsuit. So I don't want anything really fitted. That's why I moved in by one inch. If you want to do more than that, you can move in 1.5 or 2 inches. So this is what I'm going to connect to my leg. And this also, if I'm creating a straight trouser, like a straight trouser, I'll just take this my measurement of one inch I will drop it there. that will give me a straight leg if I don't want to do a straight leg I can also flare out from here to create like a boot coat or maybe like a flare trouser if I'm doing a palazzo I'll just connect straight from my crotch or from my hip straight line I don't even need to move in or move out that's for palazzo so with what we're doing right now I moved it by one inch and I'm going to connect it straight to this point because of the shape of trouser I'm looking at creating. 
that's being said then the next thing is to connect my points together i'm going to connect this point to this point to this point then straight down so i'm going to use my ink ruler to do that so i'm going to connect it like so then can use your lay your hand to do this it's just because i have my ruler here that's why i'm creating you can see the shape is already forming the trouser shape <clears throat> i want the here okay, i want the line to be straight so i'm going to connect it because i don't want a straight pant so i'm just going to connect it straight to the tip So that's the shape that I want. That's the shape that I want. Okay. You can see the side is done already. We already have our shape formed out. The next thing is to connect this waist to my crotch. Then for my crotch, connect to my knee. Then I'll finish the front pattern. For this, I can use my ruler or use my hand. So I'm going to use my hand for you to know that is actually what you can do without your ruler. All right, so that's that. That's my crotch for the front. Then I will move from here. Then my knee circumference. I have my knee circumference. My knee circumference is 20. So I'll divide my knee circumference by 2. That will give me 10. Then I always like to add ease to the knee. I don't want it to be fitted. I want to be comfortable wearing my trouser. So my knee is 20. Then I'll divide by 2. That will give me 10. Then I'm going to add a quarter. That's 10 and a quarter. I'll connect it straight. So, you can see now. This, because I did not create a straight line, I'm also going to flare out a bit here. To give me that my the kind of shape that I'm looking out for. So this, the degree of your flare is actually your choice. You can decide to make it very big. You can decide to make it small. And if you want to create a straight line, if you want your trouser to be straight, so I'm going to use this marker to create a straight leg. If I want my leg, my trouser to be straight, I will take this measurement. This measurement is 10.5. I'm going to drop it here. That will give me my straight leg. So how do I achieve that? I'll come here. I'm just trying to explain if you want to do a straight line. So I'm going to use a different color of marker. I moved in one inch here. So I'll come here and move in one and a half to make it a little bit tapered. Then I said earlier, if you, if you do not have this measurement, you can actually generate the measurement. So the basic leg entry, the bottom, the mouth of the trouser is between 15 and probably 17 for the basic. All right. So if I want to use 15 now, that means I'm going to measure 7.5, 7.5. Then I will connect it to my, to what I have here. That will give me a straight leg so if i'm creating a straight one the marker is so this will be my trouser leg if i'm creating a straight one this way but if i'm not creating a straight one i want to flare it out a bit then i'll follow here it out a bit you want it fitted you reduce your knee 
then reduce the leg you connect from here so that's that about the front pattern so let's cut this out then we'll go straight into creating the back pattern oh we've learned something So the front pattern is ready then we go straight into cutting the back what we need to do is to place this on the pattern for the back the only difference between this and the back is we're going to be adding allowance to the back and also we're going to add some inches to the side of the waist all right okay what i've done is to place my front pattern on a different paper so if you're cutting your trousers if you're cutting it directly on your fabric after cutting the front then you place it on the fabric for back don't forget that we're cutting unfold like you cut two pieces you place the fabric together right side to right side so now this is my hip same thing on the front is what is going to happen on the back the first thing that I'm going to do is to measure from the tip of the waist. Because of the size that I'm creating, I'm going to be adding 2.5, 2.5 inches to the side of the waist. All right, so the 2.5 based on the size that I'm creating right now. So from that point, I'm going to take my waist measurement. We calculated it initially we used a 9.5 for front so i'm coming straight on this line on the waistline from the 2.5 i'll measure 9.5 this is my 9.5 then my sewing allowance one inch i'm going to add one inch sewing allowance then i'm going to put that at the back so i'm going to add one inch also so my waist for the back is going to stop here so 9.5 from this my 2.5 that i extended 2.5 i extended my front side by 2.5 then from that 2.5 i measured my waist divided by 4 which gave me 9.5 then i added my darts 1 inch added my sewing allowance 1 inch so this is my waist for the front from that point this point on my front waist i'm going to move up 1.5 so 1.5 i'm moving up from here from the front waist 1.5 and that is what i just did for my front waist i move up 1.5 then i'll take my ruler and rule it connect it to the 2.5 that i measured out i have to do it in a way that it still connects with my front measurement so that's it so this is the 2.5 connected this point to the 2.5 outside the next thing is for me to connect my leg so i'm going to connect this 0.5 straight to like the lower part here so it will continue you can use your hand because i'm not using because i'm not using a pencil now so from here now Going to draw it down to connect to the lower part so from there it's going to be the same with the front so i'm going to blend it i actually wanted to use ruler to make this way oh yeah i'm going to blend it now straight till i get to the leg entry so that's that about the side hope this part is clear if you need to watch the video again and again for you to really pick up all the important points please do all right then we come to the inner seam the inner seam from this crotch we we'll measure out one inch one inch from here like this we we'll measure out one inch then i will drop the one inch all the way down one inch i'm going to drop it all the way down one inch one inch one inch one inch
just give it a nice coat. So that's that. So that's the back. Then the next step is to connect this point to this point. I'm going to raise it and use my hand. I'm do, using my hand for you to know that even if you do not have the ruler, you can actually get your curves out. You should learn how to freestyle. So that's the back. Hope you can see clearly. That's the back. This is the back. So let's mark out our point. So this is the hip line. This is the coach. Coach, let me mark the hip here. This is our knee. This is our knee. Then I'll go ahead and cut it out. And I'll go ahead now and cut it out. As it is right now, this is the back pattern and this is the front pattern. You cut two of these, cut two, cut two. Right now, what we have is our natural waist line, natural waist length, I mean. So if you go ahead and create your trouser like this, you already have your sewing allowance half inch all around, half an inch, half an inch. If you sew it right now, it's going to be on your waist, like high waisted trouser pants. So if you're going to get a band, you have to cut out your band, measure the band that you want, measure it out and cut it, measure it and cut. If you want to drop the waist, you can equally go ahead and drop the waist because as it is, as it is right now, it's high waisted. So if I have time to, if it's convenient for me to quickly sew it, and show you i'm going to do that as soon as i can but if not you can go ahead and sew it let's see what you have post it you can put your comments in the comment section and let's see what you're able to do with this pattern thank you so much for watching till the end hope you've learned something new please tell me in the comment section what you've learned what you just discovered today from this pattern let us know if you have also been having issues with creating your trouser patterns and also if you want me to take any design any style that you want me to analyze if and when i can i will do but probably not on the video but just drop it let's see let's take it from there thank you so much for watching please remember to subscribe like our videos put your comments give us feedback we will be willing to take the feedback and thank you so much for the support thank you so much see you in our next video bye for now